Ah, it's about that time again. A lot of people. <laughs> I think you saw the preview with that, didn't you? I think you know what's going to happen in this one. <laughs> I think you know. Now, just before we get into what we're doing with this, well, with one of them, we've got a stick there. I just want to talk to you about something, just briefly. These batteries, right? Leave them covered over. You might be inclined to throw one of those in the kitchen drawer. I wouldn't. Not when they're exposed like that. Because they can short out, you see. And uh, I'll leave the, uh, the description in the low bar of a confirmed case where one of these burnt someone's house down. It's confirmed and I've researched it. Confirmed by a fire department. These things, 9 volt batteries. Bad design. It can burn your house down. We might do an experiment with that at a later. Waffle waffle. Now, in the previous video, you actually saw that one, didn't you? Well, guess what? I've got one a bit bigger. Look at this one. 9,000 volts on that output. Now, quick word of warning about that one before we get into this. If you come into contact with the north end of that, you will probably be dead. Most likely. Even though the milliamps on that ain't that high, I wouldn't trust it. Runs off 240 volt input mains, 240 volt. 30 milliamp across that is more than enough to stop your heart. More than enough. So you'd probably be dead before you hit the ground anyway. More than enough. 9,000 volts on that. If you can see that. There you are. That 30 milliamp, I ain't sure whether or not that's a running current. Or what that's meant to mean. But we'll find out what that will do. To the silly sausage at some point. I reckon it'd be quite interesting. However, there is something else I've got planned for that. If you attach these to microwave oven transformers, you can get those microwave oven transform no, sorry, not transformers, capacitors. If you put them in series, series or parallel, whatever. You could probably, in fact, yeah, you'd probably go parallel with it. You could charge a whole lot up quite comfortably. Or in series, up to about 8,000, 9,000 volt. Then you've got something quite nasty. But we'll have a look at that at a later date. That one has got a pull switch on it, though. But we'll be using that in conjunction with a relay module for extra safety. So we can leave that turned on permanently and then switch this from a relay module which will run on 5 volt. I'll show you that one at a later date. And then we've got a secondary kill switch there for extra safety. Because we'll probably need it. Now, let's have a look at this, shall we? Because there's two things we're going to do now. First of all, we're going to light a cigarette. Then, actually no, there's three things we've got to do. First one, oh yeah, we've got one, haven't we? Mm. Can't do anything with high voltage unless we've got beer. You know the rules. So... Now we've got that, let's get this hooked up and let's get a cigarette lit because I think that will work. <laughs> let's give it a go. Let's zoom in. Right. 
And don't try this at home, people. Because you'll probably die. Right now, as I said with this, the amperage output, essentially through that, probably ain't high enough to kill you. Not on one finger, but I did get shock off it earlier on a residual and felt it all the way up into my bicep. That wasn't a full shock. No doubt if that had been a full one, that would have gone quite quite high up to my shoulder. If you were to come into contact with that across your chest or anywhere else, or you panic and grab that with both hands, you'd probably die, actually. I reckon there's more than enough in there, more than enough to kill you. So, that's why high voltage leave it to me anyway waffle waffle i suppose you want to see something get cooked on that don't you ah there it is let's put it in a bit closer let's get a cigarette lit and then we'll go for something else Poke that in there like that. Oh, it didn't stay. Hang on one minute. It's probably not going to go in there, is it? Ah, oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I think we know what's going to happen. Stand by. Right. What we've got to do is get this connected up. Stand by. Connecting power source. And bearing in mind, we're starting with a cigarette. Gapping across this is probably around three centimetres. Maybe enough. I want to know. It's a couple of centimetres at least. Let's give this a go. Stand by. We have some grips. Yeah, so we got that. Stand by. Energizing. First test. Nothing. Please wait. Better check this actually. There might be a bit of a bigger gap. Let's reduce it a little way. Connect our button. Testing. Oh, and watch it if you've got earphones, by the way. Right, excellent. Stand by. It's a bit loud. Please wait. Oh, fucking stinks that. Just move those in a bit. Alright, so we're down to about one plier's width. Please wait. Energised. Stand by. Going hot. I think that works. Oh. Yeah, that works. Nice. Okay. Let's move on. So that's fine then. 
Let's move on. This looks like a finger, or maybe something else. This is why you don't put your fingers near electricity. This simulates a finger, or something else. Stand by. <coughs> your uh, end off that wouldn't it? That's a bit much in it. Fuck it now. Shoot that out. Another zap off that. Let's move that out there. Fuck it now. That battery. Let's get a bit warm. Have to change that. Stand by. Ah, right, the end connector's broken off. Bear with me. I think I might have to do this manually then. Possibly. Oh. Yeah, all right, let me pause a second. All right, so we're back. Let's give it another go, like we said. High voltage, let's give it a go. Take two, this possibly is a finger or something else. Stand by. Energised. That's quite warm. Oh, look at that. Burnt that. Still smoking, look. Proper still smoking. Oof, dear. Let's give it another go. Oh, that smells quite, quite nice. I think it's finally given up. we go again slightly more energy now stand by I 
think I'm one minute. And again. minute. Just pause again. One last time, let's bump the voltage up a bit more. Oh, I think we have flames there for a second. That's not very nice, that is it? One last time, let's see if we can get a bit higher. We're going to add two more batteries onto that. One minute, and again. Cool, dear. It's not looking very nice out now, is it? And one last time, oop, as it falls over, and again. Not quite. I think we can get one more out of that, or it loses the end of that, I reckon. It's killing that battery though, definitely killing that battery. Cool, let's get a bit warm. Right, one minute, last bolt. Right, and again. I think it might be that gap. That's definitely cooking that. Oh dear, that's horrible that, isn't it? That's not nice. One minute. I think we might be able to do this. I think we might. Yeah. What was it I was looking for? Something. Hmm. Another battery, maybe. I reckon so. Well, we've got another one. And we need to get this really cranked up, I reckon. I don't know how long my boost converter is going to last, to be honest with you. They're not normally meant for this sort of thing. Not normally. But. We'll try again. And I reckon this time we might see flames. It is possible. I think so. I reckon it might be on the cards now. Still running. Oh dear. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gone that time. Oh dear. Yeah, there was definitely flames on that. Cool. Fucking 
stinks. Yeah, it's dead. Outside that. Oh dear. Well, that's the end of our finger then, or whatever that was. Ooh, that's a bit warm that. It's definitely cooked. I don't think we'll be eating that. Oh dear, look at that. I'd do you right in that, wouldn't it? I need to go and put that in the bin. One minute. Ha! <laughs> wow. That was quite a smell, weren't it? Whew. And we had flames on that. And we had quite a few batteries on the go and all. To be honest with you, I'm not sure my boost converter is going to survive after that. Luckily, I've got a few more in them, and that is a bit warm. Let's shoot that out. Fucking hell, that stinks. Jesus. Wow. I think I need one more cigarette. If I can get one lit off that. Maybe we might just get some luck on that. Maybe. But we saw flames. Mm. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Now, yeah, I just need to get those back in the kitchen so uh, we'll do that after I've lit this I think oh shit well the switch has now got hot and disconnected itself as well from the battery side ah shit okay well, I don't trust that so I have to do this this way then and we'll just short those terminals out straight away then. Stand by. to light that. Virtues drop like a stone. Oh fuck me, that's hot. Ah shit. I'll have to light it the old way then. Oh. It was quite interesting though, wasn't it? <laughs> Play safe people. Oh that wouldn't be a good idea to short that out like that, wouldn't it? Now look at the state of that line. Look at the fucking state of those terminals now. That's had it that. I need to go and put this back in the kitchen. In the fridge. Before I run out of dinner. I'm having too much fun. Till next time. Play safe. And uh mind how you go with fingers or anything else. Probably wouldn't be a good time to piss on an electric fence now, would it, either? Ooh, ooh, that would hurt. See you soon. Stay safe.